welcome to the Monday show. I am hoping Quincy has me unmuted. Uh, if not, here goes nothing. Uh, let's just get this out of the way now. I do still have a bit of a head cold, so if I do uh, scoot off, you may hear me cough. I do have hand sanitizer. I do have cough drops and plenty of fluids. So uh, <laughs> I just I, everything's fine. I am not COVID positive. I am good. I just want to throw that out there now to get it out the way. Um, as I guarantee you, I will cough at some point during the show. So, that being said, though, Quincy is here with me behind the camera to get uh, things rolling tonight. Anthony and Andy are up at the store locking up, and everyone else has gone home for the evening. Uh, I do believe Quincy pinned Daniel's $5 pre-show album that he posted before he left tonight. Uh, it is up and able to be claimed Please do keep in mind that will not come down until next Monday, so those will not be on this week's invoice. They will be on next week's invoice, but this show will be on this week's invoice, giving out on Wednesday. So with that being said, though, FOC did come down today at 5 p.m., so if y'all did miss it, y'all's next opportunity is the week of release. So please be on uh, the lookout for anything that y'all might have missed with ordering. Uh, speaking of ordering, the poll list is still active until tomorrow at 2 p.m. for next week's books, or a.k.a. Wednesday's books. So, if you missed out on FOC and do not already have it on your hard copy poll list, please do check out what's still available. Get your orders in before it closes at 2. Your next opportunity after 2 p.m. is tomorrow night, starting at 6, with the toys, the trades, and the comics. Uh, thank you. Um, after that, it is starting at 7 for the ratio variants or anything that is going to be a little bit higher priced. I do believe we may have some foils, but that might be next week that I'm thinking about. Uh, things do tend to blend together with me doing the FOC and pull list. So, with all that being said, though, we are here to sell you these funny books today. I do have $5. I do have some price. I will be interchanging them up throughout the night. Uh, so, with further ado, how this works is please type in the words claim and A, B, or C for the uh, columns, or the rows, sorry, and then one, two, three, or four. If you can get in a title in there to make it a little bit easier, that is fine as well. Whatever makes it to where I can get you the books that you are claiming, the better off we both are. Quincy is trying to get the tablet going. Apparently, it does hate all of us. AKA me and Andy. It apparently does love Quincy, but it hates us for some reason. Okay, hopefully this will stay up. If it's not, I will revert back to my phone. If you do not see me uh, acknowledge a claim after a bit, please do by all means try to say it again. Uh, we do have multiple devices going. I have two in front of me and the one up on the big screen that I'm staring at right now. As well as Quincy, uh, when Andy comes back, I'm sure he'll be having his device going on as well. So, with all that being said, though, let's just jump into it. We are going to start with $5 books. Then we will move into, uh, after two rounds of that, we will move into the price for two rounds of this frame. And then we will start intermixing in between the two. So, if it does not have a price tag, it is 5 bucks. If it does, it is what is marked. So first up is Secret War. It is book one of five. It is the commemorative edition. <coughs> the power of the cough. Next up is Star Wars Return of the Jedi number three. Do you believe we are still having a few hours of that 25% uh, off sale for Labor Day going on? As well as Happy Labor Day, because I completely forgot today was Labor Day. Uh, but if you have not taken advantage of the sale still going on, it is available up until midnight tonight. So please do get your orders in. Next up is NYX number one. Tiffy did not shuffle, so Tiffy is shuffling while she's talking. <laughs> Next up, and I've got two copies of it, is Tales of G.I. Joe number one. Got 
Batman, Spider-Man, Deadpool, number seven. Hey, you. It's this Next up is What If Iron Man Had Been a Traitor, number one. At Justice Society of America, number six.
Got Batman number 408. Bottle of water going, probably two sodas going. Daniel made a comment the other day saying, or earlier today, saying that he knows I must not be feeling good because I'm drinking water. Yeah. Got Swamp Thing number five. I don't even know this color. It's not hot in here today. Did you get the rain in your house? Yeah. I had to open the windows and was like, yeah. That free breeze. <laughs> yeah. We got Wolverine number four. Oh, fun fact. So when you have a thermostat, it has a battery in it, and the battery goes out, the thermostat turns off, which means your AC goes yeah. out. Yeah. So when I wake up at three in the morning, coughing your head off, wanting to know why you're so hot and warm, always check your thermostat. <laughs> Next up is NYX number two. I hadn't been coughing at night and then all of a sudden that and I'm like, what is going on? I go ahead and do last call for the bottom row it is X-Men Omega One Shot. Swamp Thing number three. We got Green Lantern Core number 51. And we've got G.I. Joe number 45 all for five dollars each. Next up is Spider Woman number 16. <coughs> That's Swamp Thing number four. Okay, and the last five dollar book for a little bit is Star Wars number 38. And we are going to do two A frames worth of price books and then we will mix, start mixing stuff up. So, first up on the price stuff that I did not shuffle. Bad tip. Better put it bad tip. Remind me next time not to not shuffle. Okay, first up for the price is uh, I do believe it is King Conan number one. It is graded at a 6.0 for 10. Gonna go ahead and do last call for the top row. We've got Uncanny X Men 377, Amazing Spider Man 307. X Factor number 92 and What If Wolverine Battled Conan the Barbarian number 16 for five dollars each. Next up is DC Showcase number 90. It is graded a 7.0 for 10. Trying to get me to stay now that you kicked me out. Oh, okay. Here you are. Uh, uh. Next up is Suicide Squad number one. It is graded as 6.0 for 12. Factor number one, it is a new stand edition, graded as 7.5 for 12. Got Wolverine number four, it is graded as 6.0 for 20. I'm gonna go ahead and do last haul for the middle row. We got Daredevil number 185. We got Batman number 408. Got Swamp Thing number 5. Got Wolverine number 4. Got NYX number 2. Whoop, sorry. Oh, let me put that one back. These are all for $5 each. I was just about to clear the whole entire thing. 
<laughs> Next up is X-Men number 154. It is graded at 9.0 for 12. Got a little rambunches there. Trying to clear off the A-frame. Okay, next up is Marvel Super Hero Secret Wars number two. It is graded at 9.4 for 15. Next up is Wolverine number two. It is a new stand edition, graded at 9.0 for 25. That's Swamp Thing number 32. It is graded at 9.2 for 10. Well, we do a $15 one at 9.4. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do last call for the bottom row. Got NYX number two. Got Spider Woman number 16. Got Swamp Thing number four. And we've got Star Wars number 38 for $5 each. Next up is Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number 3. It is graded at 9.0 for 15. Got yeah, Wolverine number three. It is a new stand edition. Graded a 9.0 for 15. <coughs> That's one way to deal with needing a low grade. Make your own low grade. Next up is Werewolf by Night number six. It is graded by or er, graded at a four point five for ten. Next up is Crisis on Infinite Earths number one, and it's graded at 8.5 for 15. Okay, go ahead and do last call for the top row. We've got King Conan number one, graded at 6.0 for 10. We've got DC Showcase number 90, it's graded at 7.0 for 10. We've got Suicide Squad number one, graded at 6.0 for 12. And X Factor number one, new stand edition, graded at 7.5 for 12. Got Daredevil on number 182, and it is graded at 8.0 for 12. We got Batman number 406 is graded at 9.0 for 15. Remember guys, we will get down to the bottom of the A-frame and then I will be bringing back the $5 books. Please bear with me if that is what you are here for. Next up is Rawhide Kid number 142. It is graded at 8.5 for 10. Hey Mark, how you doing this evening? 
Next up is Secrets of Sinister House, number 14, and it's graded at 7.5 for 12. <clears throat> and go ahead and do last call for the middle row. We've got Wolverine, number 4, graded at 6.0 for 20. We've got X-Men, number 154, graded at 9.0 for 12. We've got Marvel Secret Hero, or Marvel Superhero Secret Wars, number 2, graded at 9.4 for 15. And Wolverine number two, newsstand edition, right at 9.0 for 25. We got Star Wars number, er, Star Wars annual number two, right at 8.5 for 12. Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number 11, graded at 9.4 for 15. We got Batman number 407, it is graded at 9.2 for 20. G.I. Joe number three is a newsstand edition, graded at 6.0 for 12. I'm gonna go ahead and do last call for the bottom row. We got Swamp Thing number 32, graded at 9.2 for 10. We got Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number three, graded at 9.0 for 15. We got Wolverine number three, newsstand edition, graded at 9.0 for 15. And Werewolf by Night, number 6, graded at 4.5 for 10. Now, Journey into Mystery, number 2, graded at 7.5 for 12. Oh, that is cool, Bill. Got Swamp Thing number 34, graded at 9.2 for 15. Got Punisher number one, it is graded at 6.0 for 15. Okay, I think we are going to start mixing it up where we go back and forth between price rows and $5 rows. So next up is Amazing Spider-Man number 321 for five. Okay, go ahead and do last call for the top row. We've got Crisis on Infinite Earths number one, graded at 8.5 for 15. We got Daredevil 182 graded at 8.0 for 12. We got Batman number 406 graded at 9.0 for 15. And Rawhide Kid number 142 graded at 8.5 for 10. Next up is Beetle Bailey number 65 for 5. Remember, guys and gals, the ones that do not have post-its are five dollars each. The ones that do are as priced. Next up is what if the amazing Spider-Man had not married Mary Jane at number 20. Got 
that's Star Wars number 45 for five. Got Daredevil number 188. It is graded at 8.5 for 10. Now go ahead and do last call for the middle row. Got Secrets of Sinister House number 14, graded at 7.5 for 12. That's Star Wars Annual number 2, graded at 8.5 for 12. Got Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number 11, graded at 9.4 for 15. And Batman number 407, graded at 9.2 for 20. Got Swamp Thing number 33, graded at 9.0 for 12. Mark is wanting a three. That is what if number 20. What if the amazing Spider-Man had not married Mary Jane for five? Thank you, sir. You got that for you. Okay, next up is Star Wars number 75. It is graded at 9.0 for 12. Number 12, graded at 9.4 for 15. Got what if number 41, what if the Avengers had fought Col Colossus for five? And go ahead and do last call for the bottom row. We've got G.I. Joe number three, New Stand Edition, graded at 6.0 for 12. Got Journey into Mystery number two, graded at 7.5 for 12. Got Swamp Thing number 34, graded at 9.2 for 15. And we've got missing posters. We've got The Punisher number one, graded at 6.0 for 15. Got Monster Hunters number three for five. Got Marvel Tales number 102 for five. Is featuring Spider Man. Got Clive Barker's Hellra Hellraiser number two for five. Got Crisis on Infinite Earths, number 12, graded at 8.0 for 10. Gonna go ahead and do last call for the top row. We've got Amazing Spider-Man, number 321. Beetle Bailey, number 65. And Star Wars, number 45, all for $5 each. Got DC Special number 12. It is graded at 8.0 for 20. DC Special presents Adventure Mystery Viking Prince.
We got Batman special number one. It is graded at 7.5 for 10. Creatures on the loose, number 21. It is graded at 7.0 for 10. Well, guys, if y'all have not taken advantage of that Labor Day sale on the website, it is still going on until midnight tonight, where you will be saving 25% off on almost everything. Uh, the small exclusions are the FOC pull list and current week's titles. Next up is Wolverine number nine for five. We'll go ahead and do last call for the middle row. We got Daredevil number 188 graded at an 8.5 for 10. We got Swamp Thing number 33 graded at a 9.0 for 12. We got Star Wars number 75 graded at a 9.0 for 12. And Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number 12, graded at 9.4 for 15. We've got Captain America number 3. It's out of time, part 3 for 5. Got Beetle Bailey number seventy eight for five. Got what if number twenty four? What if Wolverine was Lord of the Vampires for five? Yep. Yeah. Do I Candy X Man number one hundred and fifty six right at a nine point four for twelve? Now go ahead and do last call for the bottom row. We got what if number forty one? Got Monster Hunters number three. Yeah, Marvel Tales number one hundred and two. And we've got Clive Barker's Hellraiser number two for five each. Next up is Star Wars number 75. It is graded at a 7.5 for 10. Next up is Batman the Dark Knight. Number four, it is graded at a 7.0 for 12. It is graded at 8.5 for 20. It is the first Lord Darkwind. Next up is What If number 31. What if Spider-Man had kept his cosmic powers for five? And go ahead and do last call for the top row. We've got Crisis on Infinite Earths number 12, grade at 8.0 for 10. We've got DC Special number 12, grade at 8.0 for 20. Got Batman special number one, graded at a 7.5 for 10. And Creatures on the Loose number 21, graded at a 7.0 for 10. Got G.I. Joe number 
and 13 for five. Got two copies of Thunderbolts, number 113 variant for five. We've got Spider-Man number 26 for five. He's got the shiny shiny. Okay. We've got Doctor Strange number 81 and is graded at 8.5 for 20. Now go ahead and do a last call for the middle row. Got Wolverine, number nine. Got Captain America, number three. Got Beetle Bailey, number 78. And we've got What If, number 24, for $5 each. Got X-Men, number 193. It is a newsstand edition, graded at 9.4 for 15. everyone we do have the pull list still live on the website until 2 p.m tomorrow once that goes down uh your next shot at more bucks will be starting at 6 p.m on those facebook albums so please do get your last minute orders in before that pull list is completely over we do have the ratio starting at 7 p.m tomorrow afternoon Next up is Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number four. It is graded at 9.2 for 20. And speaking of ratios, Daniel has been in there fastly putting them on. He did, I believe, upload another 65 today. Uh, they have not gone live yet because he is waiting to make sure that everything was okay for tomorrow. But if all goes well, he should be having another 65 loaded tomorrow afternoon. Uh, he has already loaded roughly 140 already onto the website. So please do go over on the right hand side if you're on the uh, on a computer or says shop now in the categories. Uh, you can hit the little plus button. It will pop up all the subcategories in that section. It will also let you uh, find one that's called ratios. And that is all of the current ones that Daniel has been adding on. Uh, speaking of adding on more too, Quincy has been adding on almost every single shift he has been working on to the website. Uh, so please do check out that recently added category as well. It is not just for ratios, but it is also for everything recently getting added to the website. So please do check that out. Good. Uh, uh. About to pick the wrong one. We've got Wolverine number five. It is graded at 8.5 for 12. We got Daredevil number 500. It is a variant for five. Now go ahead and do last call for the bottom row. Got Uncanny X Men number 156, graded at 9.4 for 12. Got Star Wars number 75, graded at 7.5 for 10. Got Batman Dark Knight number 4, graded at 7.0 for 12. And we got Daredevil number 196, graded at 8.5 for 20. Got X Men Alpha one shot for 5. We 
got two copies of G.I. Joe number 67 for five. Got Captain America number 11 for five. Got Marvel Super Heroes at Secret Wars number five, graded at a 9.4 for 12. Let's go ahead and do last call for the top row. We've got What If number 31. We've got G.I. Joe 113. We've got Thunderbolts number 113, variant times two. And we've got Spider Man number 26 for $5 each. We got Wolverine number six, greater than 8.5 for 10. We got Hulk number 345, greater than 7.0 for 12. Got the Infinity Gauntlet number three. It is in Houston edition, graded at 7.5 for 12. Got Star Wars number 47 for five. <coughs> oh, pardon me. And go ahead and do last call for the middle row. We've got Doctor Strange, number 81, graded at 8.5 for 20. Got X-Men, number 193, Houston edition, graded at 9.4 for 15. Got Marvel Superhero Secret Wars at number 4, graded at 9.2 for 20. And Wolverine, number 5, graded at 8.5 for 12. Got Beetle Bailey, number 94 for 5. Got Richie Rich, number 69 for five. We got Superman Family, number 168 for five. He is a 100 pager. Got the Infinity Gauntlet number four, graded at 7.5 for 10. Now go ahead and do last call for the bottom row. We've got Daredevil number 500 variant. We've got X Men Alpha one shot. We've got two copies of G.I. Joe number 67. And we've got Captain America number 11 for $5 each. We got Swamp Thing, Saga of the Swamp Thing, number 30, graded at 9.2 for 10. Wolverine number seven, it is a new stand edition, graded at 9.0 for 12. Got the Infinity Gauntlet number five, it is graded at 8.0 for 10.
Got Slave Girl number one for five. And go ahead and do last call for the top row. We've got Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number five, graded at 9.4 for 12. Got Wolverine number six, graded at 8.5 for 10. Got Hulk number 345, graded at 7.0 for 12. And we've got Infinity Gauntlet number three, New Stand Edition, graded at 7.5 for 12. Got Captain America number 12 for five. Got Superman, Batman, number nine for five. Got Boris Karloff, Tales of Mystery, number 52 for five. Got Uncanny X-Men, number 164, graded at 8.5 for 20. It's the first at Carol Danvers as binary. And go ahead and do last call for the middle row. We've got Star Wars, number 47. Got Beetle Bailey, number 94. Got Richie Rich, number 69. And we've got 100 page Superman Family, number 168 for $5 each. Got Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number seven. It is graded at nine point four for thirty-five. It is the first Julius Carpenter Spider-Man or Spider Woman? Sorry, Spider Woman. Got Star Wars number 74 is graded at 9.0 for 12. Got Swamp Thing annual number 2. It is graded at 9.0 for 15. It is the first Justice League Park. Okay, next up is What If number 17. What if Craven the Hunter had killed Spider-Man for five? Go ahead and do last call for the bottom row. We've got Infinity Gauntlet number four, graded at 7.5 for 10. Swamp Thing number 30, graded at 9.2 for 10. Wolverine number seven, U Stand Edition, graded at 9.0 for 12. And Infinity Gauntlet number five, graded at 8.0 for 10. Got two copies of G.I. Joe, number 68 for five. Got Marvel's Ultimate Spider-Man, number three for five. Got yeah, what if number 37? What if Wolverine had been Lord of the Vampires during Inferno for five? Got yeah, Infinity Gauntlet number 
number six, it is graded at a 9.2 for 15. I'm going to go ahead and do last call for the top row. Got Slave Girl, number one. Captain America, number 12. Superman, Batman, number nine. And Boris Korloff, Tales of Mystery, number 52 for $5 each. Got Star Wars, number 73. It was graded at 8.5 for 10. Got Uncanny X-Men, number 191, and is graded at 9.4 for 10. Remember, guys, if y'all are joining us late or this show is no longer live, if you are wanting to claim something, which you can claim anything that has gone unclaimed, please do shoot us a private message uh, if the show is no longer live. The notifications for the shows do have a tendency to uh, bunch up, and we do have an occasion where we do miss the notification. So please do shoot us a private message if the show is no longer live and you'd like to claim something before they make it to those Facebook albums. I do believe that Dan does put up the Friday or the. <coughs> <coughs> oh, pardon me. He does put up the after show, whatever's left over on the album on Friday. So please do check that out then. Okay, next up is Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number six. It is graded at 9.2 for 15. Next up is Web of Spider-Man, number 38 for 5. I am going to go ahead and do last call for the middle row. We've got Uncanny X-Men, 164, graded at 8.5 for 20. We've got Marvel Superhero Secret Wars, number 7, graded at 9.4 for 35. We've got Star Wars, number 74, graded at 9.0 for 12. And we've got... Uh, Phil, I believe this is maybe the one that you're talking about. It's one thing, annual number two, graded at a 9.0 for 15. That's the one that you're talking about. Please let me know. We can put your name on it. It has gone unclaimed. Next up is G.I. Joe, number 115 for five. Okay, Bill has claimed Swamp Thing Annual Number Two, graded at a 9.0 for 15. Thank you, sir. We do have that for you. Next up is two copies of Thunderbolts Number 115 variant for five. Okay, we will be going on until 8 o'clock, and then we are going to call it a night there. Next up is Star Wars number 51 for 5. Oh, not a problem, sir. Uh, if people do ever have problems with connections or anything like that, y'all can always go back and watch after the, afterwards. Uh, like I did say, Daniel does not put up that Facebook album until Friday, so y'all have plenty enough time to watch the show after it's no longer live and make your claims if you do have connection issues or any of the above. Next up is Wolverine number four. It is a newsstand edition and graded at 8.0 for 12. Jim, I do not believe so. Let me go through it real quick. 
six. Give me just a second, guys. Let me see if I can find this for Jim. Okay, we've got X Men number 156, graded at 9.4 for 12. That be it. Let me know. Next up is Uncanny X Men number 173, graded at 8.5 for 10. I'm gonna do last call for the bottom row because I forgot again. What if number 17? G.I. Joe number 68 times two. Marvel's Ultimate Spider-Man number three. And what if number 37 for five dollars each? Okay, sir, we do have that for you. I like that title too. <laughs> Next up is Star Wars number 72 and is graded at 8.5 for 10. Now the next question is, did he make noises? <laughs> Got Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number 10 and is graded at 9.4 for 25. Got Web of Spider-Man number 47 for five. Gonna go ahead and do last call for the top row. We've got Infinity Gauntlet number six, graded at 9.2 for 15. Star Wars number 73, graded at 8.5 for 10. Uncanny X-Men number 191, graded at 94, <laughs> graded at a 9.4 for 10. And Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number six, rated at nine point two for fifteen. Got Star Wars number fifty one for five. Do you believe we are going to finish out this row and then call it? Got Boris Karloff, Tales of Mystery, number 68 for five. Got Uncanny X-Men number 27. It is the 1 in 15 variant for 5. And last but not least is Spider-Man Deadpool number 4 for 5. Got it in it on the dead move. Okay, guys, we are going to end it there. Uh, we do have some more shuffling to do uh, to get prepared for tomorrow, and I do still have some paperwork to catch up on since I feel like I was behind all day. Please do check out the website. If y'all, like I said earlier, if y'all did not take advantage of that Labor Day sale, it is still going on until midnight for 25% off almost everything literally on the website, which includes, but is not limited to, slabs, comics, Trades and toys. We do have still a handful of toys on there. So please do check that out. Uh, with all that being said, though, uh, please do get your orders in at 2 p.m. Um, Matt. Uh, it says December of 2014, so 
2013 was probably when it was released or when the series started. I'll put it back up on the cover cam so you can take a little bit of a closer look. The cover says December of 2014. Yeah. Okay, with all that being said, uh, please, if you are watching it after it's no longer live, please do, like I said, shoot us a private message. We will see if we've got anything um, still available that went unclaimed. Uh, but treat each other you wish to be treated, and we will get through this insane world together. I will see y'all in those Facebook albums tomorrow night at 6 p.m. starting for the trades, toys, and comics, and 7 p.m. for those ratio variants. I will catch y'all then.